Good morning, guys. Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> I'm not feeling so great. My back has really been killing me since I've been doing a lot of healing on people's backs, and for whatever reason, it's hurting me today. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing today's um, Ascension reading for February 1st. I can't believe it's February already. Uh, anyway, February 1st, 2019. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Sorry, I have a message that was coming in. Let me just get that off of here real quick. Anyway, um, I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it, guys. Universal Energies, what messages do you have for today, February 1st, 2019, for all people who are already aware they're on an ascension journey or going through an awakening process? What messages do you have for today, February 1st, 2019? For all people who are already aware of their thank you on thank you on an ascension journey going through an awakening process the first card that came out was indigo so either yourself or somebody you're thinking about uh, or questioning about is a natural born leader they like to sit in the backgrounds observe quiet and reserved um they're usually the ones that are real quiet until you do something or say something that makes them upset or they feel like they need to really tell you something and then it comes out in a very um, bold, uh, sometimes could be uh, offensive type ways, but it's always out of love. It's always just out of love and this is driving me nuts. Anyhow, so the next one that came up was twin flame so some of you are thinking about a twin flame or wondering if this relationship that that you are um going into or that you have been i'm seeing somebody's been seeing during meditation um and throughout the day and daydreams a face of somebody um many of you are okay seeing faces of somebody so pay attention to this face this might be a twin flame or a soulmate so a twin flame um is the other divine counterpart of you it's your mirror it's the the one that it's the divine of divine relation relationships um sometimes we incarnate with them sometimes we don't and they'll be um guiding us from the other side um Yeah, just look up the whole twin flame thing. Um, as you're looking it up and reading about it, make sure that you use discernment of spirit of whether or not this, if it feels like it's of love and light and it's resonating with you, then it's meant for you to read or hear. If not, then it's not and go on. Not all of it is accurate. I don't even know that I'm 100% completely accurate. But anyway, um, look at, look into that and see what else you guys come up with i'm still learning about that myself so um universal energies what other messages do you have for today february 1st 2019 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey going through an awakening process okay so i keep hearing that i need to remind this is for the females that normally don't have periods or for whatever reason um shouldn't have periods and they're starting to again this is completely normal it is part of the ascension process clearing out old templates and old um energies that don't that don't serve no longer serve a purpose it's our dna upgrading um to uh, a more galactic dna for us to be um, for this planet to ascend to 5D five, five and above, with, which is um, unconditional love, fears going away, things like that. So um, living out of compassion and all that. So the next one was vacuum, vacuum away fear. We've been getting that one a lot. This is an ongoing thing. We always need to get rid of our fears. If we have fears, we need to face them head on. 420. Yes, that's an angel number. I'm not trying to be funny, but it is. 420, look it up. See what it says. But anyhow, um, there's a lot of people that's getting ready to go in, into doing healing, including self. Um, some kind of healing practices, whether it be on animals or people, it doesn't matter. Um, vacuum away that fear that you have of that. 444. Thank you. That's another, that's an, uh, another angel number, just a confirmation. Like Archangel Michael and Raphael, the collective of them, 
are always in the background helping us. We just need to ask them, guys, like, um, what are we supposed to be asking for help for? What are we supposed to be working on? What do I need to heal myself, and how do I do that? Then wait for the answer, and don't move until you have that confirmation, and you know in your heart, without a shadow of a doubt, that you're supposed to move in that direction of your life or do, some, or do something different. That's how I, I started doing it. That's how I started learning to trust in my intuition. It's just one of many ways. But, you know, you put them all together and, and your intuition will be spot on. That simple. What other messages do you have for today, February 1st, 2019? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through a awakening process. So I don't know if I shared all about the whole female issue. So you're probably having a lot of lower back pain, a lot of cramping cramping in your stomach just even if you're not bleeding this is something that's going on i'm hearing it is our reproductive system being recalibrated -cali recalibrated i guess that's the right word am i saying that correctly they said just a <laughs> pretty much so i'm going to stick with it anyway what other messages do we have for today february 1st 2019 for all individuals who are already aware they're on an ascension journey going through awakening process what other messages do we have for today oh, thank you if you get nervous focus on service we got that yesterday and service comes in so many different ways giving somebody a ride taking somebody to the store prayer Sending healing energy their way. Helping them out without any uh, motives of having anything in return. That's when we get it in return anyways. When we don't have the motives and and uh, the want for or expect expecting anything in return from people. That's when we really get blessed. And it comes back to us big time. It says, put your entire attention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. It's so true. All right, guys. What other messages do you have? Are there any more of these? Yeah, I heard yes. What other messages do you have for February 1st, 2019 for all individuals who are already aware they're on an ascension journey? going through an awakening process what messages thank you any more am i supposed to stop i'm told not to stop <laughs> so oh, okay here we go so the next one that came out was ascended masters and you know what? i should have known that every time i see a card on the bottom and i'm told to say it and i don't say it it always ends up coming right out and that was on the bottom right before i started shuffling again right after if you get focus if you get nervous focus on service so if you guys want to back up and look that up it's just a confirmation it was supposed to come out. So the Ascended Masters are working with you. Whatever Ascended Master you're thinking about this time, that's the one that's working with you. Or whatever ones you're thinking about at this time are the ones that work with you. I work really close with Jesus all the time. He's my dude. I love him. Um, I have learned a whole, whole, whole lot about um, the Bible through guidance from Jesus. I'm supposed to put that down there okay thank you and then the next one it says powerful loving and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you now and then the next one is you are profoundly clairvoyant trust in what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps you with healing teaching and guidance so there that is about healing again so that's just not another confirmation for all you healers everybody has the ability to heal first of all let me just back up and say that Everybody does. It doesn't matter if it's with your voice, with your hands, through your art, through your music, through your energy being sent out to people, through prayer. It doesn't matter. We're all healers of some sort. Okay? So let's just get that out of the way. However, there are those who are master healers. They have been in this ascension process on many planets, many times, 909 and then 911. Thank you. Um, I was supposed to bring those up for you guys to, to look up because it's going to go with what I'm telling you about this. So like we are enlightened beings. We have been here be before. We have done this before on many, 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 many planets. And the more that we waken up, the more that we realize, man, we're a lot, we're a lot older soul than we think we were. We have lived millions of lifetimes in so many different places and we've learned so much and we have mastered those gifts. However, we as a human avatar, you know, a spiritual being that comes into this human avatar for a physical experience to learn, 
it's up to us to learn as much as we can. That's why we came here to remember who we are, God. Okay, we came here when we were born. We forget who we are, God. And then we come here to learn about God and remember who we are, God. Which wakes you up to knowing that you are all powerful, all knowing. It's already there. It's just the human part of us and the human filters that society put in place that hold us back from that. It makes our DNA go dormant. It makes us forget things. So a lot of you are remembering past lives now. They don't really matter unless there's something that needs healed in there. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to pay a whole lot of attention to what you're seeing unless you feel drawn to. We like to think too much and trisect and dissect a lot of things as a human being. That's not, that's not how it goes in the spiritual. You know, we came here to learn, guys. Just sit back, relax, and learn what we got to learn. Enjoy the experience as uncomfortable as it will be. We chose it. Embrace it. Celebrate it. Love it. You can hate it at times, too. It doesn't matter. God will laugh along with you. They all do, I heard. <laughs> they all do. All right. Any more of the, these messages that need to come out? I heard no. No? Do I need to pull any more angel therapy cards out? Okay, I thought so. <laughs> so, angel messages? All right. So, let's do angel messages. Angels, what messages do you have? <laughs> this one? For February, thank you, February 1st, 2019, for all individuals who are already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. So I've been having this really funny tickle right here since la late last night. And it's every time I talk, it gets energized and I can feel like energy shooting out here. So if anybody ever sees anything coming out the side of my mouth, I want to know. It wouldn't surprise me. I've seen so many weird things. So my grandma's saying hi, that's Opal. She's just letting you know that your children on earth and in heaven are well cared for and loved by God and the angels. Okay, somebody, a few somebodies have really been trying to see a, de a deceased child or hoping that that's the first being that you see or whatever. I'm going to tell you, it took me years, and this is years of seeing all kinds of different beings and not really understanding it, but just going along with my life anyway. It took years and years and years, literally, after my daughter died to see her, except for a dream that I had, okay? But to see her with my, with my third eye or my physical sight, either one, it literally took me years. It is one of the last things that probably will, or beings that will probably come to you because it's such an emotional thing. If you're further along in your healing process and in your ascension journey, then it'll probably happen sooner for you. Just so, whoever that was for, Opal. And if you see all the purple and, I mean, the violet that's in there, that's the crown and third eye. You know, I see them both that way sometimes or think of them both when I see violet or purple, any shades of violet, purple, or darker blues or indigos. I think of those two. But anyway, so that's letting me know, like, you're opening up to sight, to that gift of sight. So just pay attention to what you're seeing. It's on top of the twin flame and vacuum away fear. So, like, I don't really see anything unless it's saying that, you know, um, your children are, are helping guide, guide you on this twin flame. I don't really get that, though. But the whole vacuum away fear, it makes complete sense. If you're thinking about deceased loved ones, especially children, and you have fear of seeing them, you're blocking your sight anyway to see them. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to. 12-12 again on the, on the time. That's just crazy. <laughs> 1221. Okay, guys, look at these numbers. I don't know if any of you look up these numbers, but look them up because they go with what I'm telling you and what you're thinking at this moment. And by the way, for everybody that ends up sending me private messages and telling me that certain parts of the reading were definitely for them and they've shared their experiences with me about it, I love it. Keep doing that because I know that there's personal messages for certain people throughout my readings, but I don't say their names all the time because it's not meant to be heard that way. So I love it. Just keep letting me know um, if they're for you or what have you, if they resonate with you. Am I supposed to take that one? Okay. Thank you. Any more? Okay. I'm going to keep going. So um, the next one is Bethany. 
When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt, bath, or pedicure. That's why it's taken me till 1 o'clock to get this reading out for you today, guys. I am in pain, and I was told to take care of my body. So I laid in a bath for an hour, hot bath, and just laid there and worked on my chakras and meditated on the next couple days. I have a group healing tomorrow, and some of the people, thank you, I'm going to be working on are new. So anytime there's newer people coming in, you know, it always is a little bit, um, not scary. It's a good scary, but, you know, you just don't know what to expect. Even though sometimes I see things ahead of time, I still don't know exactly what to expect. But anyway, take some time for yourself. If you're having pain, if you're tired, then you need to rest, okay? Listen to your body's messages. It tells us in so many ways. If you have pain, why do I have pain? Am I doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing that's causing me physical pain? The answer for me would be yes. I was doing some, doing more healing than I was told to do. So I gave away a lot more energy than I had to give. That's why I'm hurting. That's why others are hurting. I just heard that too. Be careful. <laughs> Even though I know so many ways of getting back energy, it doesn't always take care of the pain instantly, okay? I may have all kinds of energy like I do right now, but the pain is still there. Daniel is assisting in marriage. Somebody wants to propose to somebody, 1616, 16, or either somebody is about to be getting proposed to, or the, the committed relationship is coming in with your soulmate or twin flame. Okay. Trust in what you're seeing. The face that you're seeing during meditation, during the day, during daydreams, all these all these things that are coming in and visions trust in what you're seeing it is a soulmate or it is a twin flame it is a spiritually based relationship it is the one that you're supposed to be looking for not looking for okay that was the wrong thing they, they corrected me instantly this is the one that you're supposed to be following meaning whatever your is mirrored to you the good bad and the indifferent heal the things that need to be healed Love the things that you already love even more. And then learn to love yourself in a different way. Learn to be okay with being with yourself. God, that's hard, guys. It, it, was, it still is sometimes hard for me. I love being alone, though. Don't get me wrong. I love being alone. But sometimes it can be hard. So, you know, just trust in what you're getting on that. My whole body is pulsating with energy right now about this whole twin flame thing. So a lot of people are wondering about this. Am I supposed to continue reading angel messages? Yes or no? I heard yes. And am I supposed to continue reading angel messages? Thank you. I heard yes. So I'm going to continue this one. Akasha, you're a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Came out yesterday, I believe, guys. That... It's, we know this, just start working and doing the things that you need to do, the things that you're guided to do, I'm hearing, 1818, the things that you're guided to do, make sure that you start doing those things. And once again, I'm hearing the third eye, crown and throat chakra, heart and upper heart are all opening right now, all open, 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 not opening, open, okay, thank you. What other messages do you have for today, February 1st, 2019? For all individuals who are already aware they're on an ascension journey or going through an awakening process, what other messages do you have? Are there any more of the angel messages? Okay, thank you. Just making sure. What other messages do you have? This one? Am I supposed to take this one? Okay, thank you. I heard no. Okay, Merlena says you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information do you research or seek expert advice before making a decision so you're confused about first of all why you're a spiritual teacher why you was chosen to be a light worker and to help the planet to evolve and to ascend start meditating Pray and ask for that guidance if you're not already doing that, and it's going to come. 
through other people, places, and things. Just trust in the process, first of all. We have to trust, and we have to believe in something. Even if we don't, we can't see it, or we don't know what it is that we're believing in, just believe that it's going to turn out for the best. Act as if it's already that way. That's how we really manifest things into our life. And I'm, and again, I'm just seeing like the whole world in this. I I want to I want to want to say it kind of looks like a wizard or whatever, but it doesn't matter. It's a lady with her arms open, and the universe is just feeding her all kinds of information from. The, from, from the cosmos, the angels are flying around her. She has the sun and the moon in there that she can draw energy from. She has balance. Right there is the yin and the yang. And then she's getting, she's also getting the dolphin energy. You know, the dolphins carry information from the universe as well. But the butterfly is transformation. Like there's so much going on in this card, guys. We have the light and the dark. The throat chakra, the heart chakra, the third eye, the crown, all being worked on. Just embrace it. And there's like one, two, there's two, two rabbits in here. And for whatever reason, I feel really drawn to them. I don't know if I actually have a rabbit card, but if I, if I don't, you guys need to look up the rabbit and see what that's about. Okay. Because it's, it's standing out for some reason. And it's got crystals hanging from its mouth in both of the picture. In both, yes, crystals. So, see what see what that's about. Am I supposed to take this one? No. Okay, thank you. Am I supposed to pull any more of, of the um, angel cards? No. Okay. Animal spirit guides? Thank you. Animal spirit guides, what messages do you have for today? February 1st, 2019. For all individuals who are already aware... They're on an ascension journey, going through an awakening process. What other messages are going to, are wanting to come out for today for February 1st, 2019 for all individuals who are already aware of this one? Thank you. The snow leopard come out, came out. It says take some time out of your, that one too. Yes or no? Okay. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. I'm hearing this is not for everybody. You know who you are. If you're able to, go out and enjoy nature. If it's too cold, observe nature from indoors looking through a window. Watch things. I was watching about Colorado last night. I know nothing about Colorado, but I have been told for the past two years during meditation that I'm going to be going to Colorado soon. I'm going to be around a lot of other people that are just like me, like-minded, um, teaching healing and doing healing on those who don't already know or need help. And as well as I'm going to be learning a lot of other stuff. So the elk's the next card. Right away, I see those colors again like yesterday. We got the elk yesterday. The, the upper chakras are being worked on. So this says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what. And others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. When we do the right things for the right reasons... People learn to respect us and show us respect even if they don't believe in what we believe in or understand what we understand. That's just how it works, guys. Is, are there any more animal spirit uh, guides that would like to come out today? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, what other messages do the animal spirit guides want to tell us for February 1st, 2019? For all individuals who are already aware, they're on an awakening journey. Uh, ascension journey going through an awakening process. I felt my hair come out in the back and I had thought somebody touched me. So I was trying to see if somebody else had another message or something that I wasn't hearing. But it was just my hair falling out. Wasn't anything spectacular. <laughs> Rattlesnake. The experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Like I've been trying to tell you. We're all healers. But which way are you supposed to be healing people? Ask and you shall receive. That's what I'm hearing. Are there any more animal spirit guides that would like to come out today? I heard no. So, today's um, I am affirmation is I am committed to my personal heal. Okay, let me start all over again. I am committed to my personal healing of self. I am capable, bold, and strong. Yes, I know it's backwards. I am in selfie mode when I record. So, everybody have a great day. Sorry it took so long to get it out, but it... 
Like I was told this morning, it gets out exactly when it's supposed to, right on time and divine time. So everybody have a great day. I will be posting after this one gets uploaded the, the Ascension, Daily Ascension reading for the weekend. So it'll be good for both Saturday and Sunday. And it could be for a couple days before and after as well. Okay, I love you. Have a great day. Bye.